Alrighty, recording has begun. We're back. I never left. To Rimworld Zombie Land. Rimworld Zombies. Zombies. Rimworld. Get all the keywords in for the Zombie Land mod. Uh, so, yeah, we were currently working on building the ship. Building the ship. Apparently, we have a pet turkey. Not really a pet. I don't think it is, anyway. It is not a pet. But it's kind of a pet. It's a mascot. Mascot for shipbuilding. So, we are, uh, we're now working on the ship. We mainly need to get last steel for that we have everything else we have a lot of uranium we have a lot of steel we have the advanced components it's really just uh just getting that plasteel out of the ground which we are working on uh i could also go ahead and roof this area while they're doing this where they're not in the rain on this freaking endlessly rainy map and you know what let's uh let's do a little uh cut through here so i want those like sectioned off so if uh you know zombies get shot in they're kind of corralled in a in an area that we can take, the, take care of in parts i do want to get in and out of there quicker day without kids out about today work on what you want to and listen to the stream in the background i'm so chill I don't think it sounds, I don't know why, but it just reminds me like Garuda Valley. Got that kind of, I don't know, tribal desert feel or something. It doesn't remind me of Nickelback, no. <laughs> you said it reminds you of something. Interesting. I think the last time Mage was here talking in the chat, uh, the How You Remind Me Nickelback thing came up as well. <laughs> What's up with that, Mage? How do I remember that? I do not know the answer to either of those things. Three groups of wasters. Double check body parts here. Right eye was crushed. We should probably replace that. Sonic eye, right eye. Crushed eye sounds terrible. Can't replace your torso. Sorry. No bionic torso. Psychite addiction on baby animals. Oh, you're about to become an adult. They get addicted so young. So young. Hey, Twitch count back. Watch your phone. Get verification on it. Seven months. Thorns. Welcome back. That yeah, that sucked. Would you end up how'd you end up getting it back? Crushed ice sounds good though. Crushed ice is good. That's crazy though. Every time you pour something on crushed ice, it goes I mean obviously I know why, but it's always kinda of, it's kinda of interesting watching your entire glass of crushed ice just shrink as soon as you put liquid on it. Going authentic. Scipio, welcome in. Sounds like a proper zombie dessert. Crushed eye. Switch your two-step account. Gotcha. In the English for Psychite Tea Time. <laughs> All right. The startings of a ship. Oh, my God. It's beginning. It has begun. It has begun. Not this time. Not like last run. We're not having that happen again. What's happening? Is it that much completed? Yeah. <laughs> Always crazy. Can you just finish the work? Do you want it done now or do you want it done right? I want it done now. It only has to get us to space. How precise do you need it to be? Building is kind of ugly. 
Mine are usually really ugly because they just make squares, but I mean, squares are beautiful. Nothing wrong with squares. It's hip to be square, some would say. Chip line, regionally, stable safe. Um, I have not lost many runs when it gets to ship launch. I can only think of one run I've ever lost at ship launch. Huey Lewis thinks so, that's right. And uh, the news, the news probably also does. You agree about being squared? You would, you and R squared. Good. Tin colonist idle. Usually they're uh, searching for ore right now, but... Uh, well, our power is built back up. We can have them do it. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. What are we waiting on here? Advanced components. Okay. How many people do we have on that? Five, okay. Five it is. So I'm just gotta bang out those advanced components. Oh my god. Don't wanna click that. Don't wanna click that. Why is it three? It's gotta be three. Advanced components into body parts. They are, yeah. I do have some um some body parts set to have two of each, which is fine, because we are uh we will be losing more body parts, I'm sure. Right now it looks like everyone is kinda Kit it out as much as I'm going to do with body parts unless they lose something. Bounty. Yeah, bounty day. I'm looking forward to today's bounty. It's a game bounty, but uh, it's something I've heard about a lot. Talking about it when he gets here, but did the tutorial of it last night. It was pretty fun. I like the kind of game, though. Hopefully, we'll have enough people for that. Uh, I usually don't look at viewer count, but I just. just did. Your counts dropped like 150 in the last hour. Not good. I mean, you know, for the bounty numbers and stuff. Make sure I hit that minimum or else they won't give me a penny. Hey, we're still being here. That goes for everyone. Um... We're good on that. That's an extra one. I think I'm not going to repair anymore after that. I mean, it might be a good idea to go ahead and re-ally with some of the extra drugs and stuff. But honestly, I think allies would cause more more problems for us. Finding you on it already. Um, It's been... There's... My daughter really, really likes going to school. She actually was dreading the summer and was super happy to go back to school, but it's mainly because that's where the friends are, right? So very happy to go back to school and very unhappy to do schoolwork, basically. And so it's kind of like this interesting middle ground that we're in all the time where it's like, it's awesome that you like going to school and it's not, it's not hard to get you to go to school and do things, but, you know, how to make sure that we're I think your homework and stuff gets done is the the downside to it. And then all the problems that come with just school and that age in general. But yeah. It's been uh it's been fine. Skull and bones. Three days in a row. Yeah, I've seen his clips on uh like Twitch and on TikTok and stuff. Definitely seems like a game that not only he would like, but that would be good for his branding. Really take advantage of it, you know? With all the viewpoints changed. Yeah, this is the first year with like lots of classes too, you know? So it's having to get go to like six or seven different classes. Has potential skull and bones. Always hated homework. 
I mean, I didn't enjoy it, but I was pretty disciplined about it. So I would do my homework as soon as I got home. So I just had, didn't have to worry about it, you know? Just do it, get out of the way. But I've, I've been that, like that most of my life with the whole eat the frog philosophy, you know? Do the thing, what? Look it up. Uh, do the thing that you least want to do. You don't have to worry about it so you don't have the any anxiety about it not getting done in time or not being done or whatever. What frog? Eat the frog. Do the thing you don't want to do that you need to do first. Why do I need to eat a frog? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> eat your frogs. Eat your frogs first. Teacher was collecting it. Just wait till the last second. Never heard that expression? Uh, you can look it up. It's it's an old expression. H28 wasn't as disciplined though. Procrastination from the gene line. Oh my god, another addiction. Mock Twain, eat the frog. It's an old one. Is that your family and one teacher? Weird, hear it out in the wild. <laughs> Googling it. Have heard it before? Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't think you didn't believe me, but. Always got A's B's. Never an issue. Boring or pre repetitive. Yeah. yeah, um, the thing is now, at least with, uh, with her school, they don't really force lots of homework. It's that if you don't finish the stuff in class, you know, when I was in school, pretty much, especially high school, every class just, it was just, I just gave you extra stuff for homework pretty much every day. It's about right. You've never heard that phrase before and you're old. Are you as old as Mark Twain? Wow, I didn't know. I squared. Honors cause y'all homework. Class before it was due. <laughs> really? Did maybe 10% of your homework? Frog legs. I've never eaten frog legs. Never eaten frog legs. I've seen people go gigging though. Frog gigging. I remember that. I remember some of my uncles when I was a kid. Like, you wanna go frog gigging with us? No, I don't. Thank you. Pleasure game? A game that is not that good, but you really like it, like Greedfall. <laughs> I don't think there's a guilty pleasure game, honestly. I don't feel guilty playing or liking any game that I, I play and like. But, um, I don't know. I guess for a while, Again, I wasn't like embarrassed to play it or anything, but I guess for a while I would have said maybe like Raid Shadow Legends. I don't have time to play anymore, but I actually do. I did play Raid Shadow Legends a lot, as, even as a free to play player. But yeah, I can't think of one that I would really say is a guilty pleasure, especially not now. I've heard of Frog Gigging? Say for AP classes. Have you really have you done that? Hang on. Yeah, I've never been noodling either. I know people that went noodling. For anyone that doesn't know what noodling is, you basically put your hand in these muddy holes in the water and have fish bite your hand and then you pull the fish out. Fishing with your hands. That was just a meme. No, like one of the most active channels on my Discord is people playing Raid Shadow Legends. I actually really liked it. It's memed on a lot, but I, I played it, man, I played it every day without free to play player did all the in-game stuff played it pretty much every day for like a year and a half or so i probably still would play it uh there's a lot of like mathing out situations and figuring things out and fine tuning like speed tuning and stat tuning and overcoming bosses and things like that uh but yeah there's still probably like 30 people in the discord that play every day there's a specific channel in our discord for raid shadow legends i used to teach on the stream how to do things like with tuning teams to do certain things, but it's run so far. It's going okay today. Yeah, it's actually easier than yesterday. Yeah, hope for catfish. Pray you don't get it something else. Yeah. Yeah, spreadsheet simulator. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you keep playing it, yeah. 
No Gord's Day. Um, if we have enough people, I need to do the bounty. And then I plan on playing Gord after the bounty as long as there's time. But I really need to hit the minimum for the bounty this time. So I'm not doing that without getting anything. Ship launch tomorrow? Actually, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We're building it. Just uh, taking some time. Usually when I'm doing shipbuilding, we go out and trade for some of the components to save a lot of time. But it's really hard to go out and trade for components, right? As long as things go well. Yeah, I was actually thinking about doing the bounty pretty soon. And then we dropped like 140 people. The way it goes. It's the way it goes sometimes. Wish there was no minimum for a bounty. It's a real stupid system. The system only benefits Twitch. It's surprising Twitch would have a system that would only benefit Twitch and no one else. Weird. That doesn't sound like Twitch at all. Must be mistaken. Twitch on Roku and it didn't work. Uh, there is a specific app, a third-party app, made to have Twitch work on Roku. I think it's literally called, like, Twoku or something. <laughs> Mod wife uses it. Well, they are Dillions! Let's go ahead, Tet. Tet. Did you end up watching, uh, Group C? I know we were talking about it yesterday. That's time to do it. It's not like Bezos at all. Start it and didn't finish it yet. Got you. I won't say anything then. End up doing some streaming. Oh, look at that beautiful ceremony. Look at this little naked kid in here. <laughs> We're having this lovely ceremony out by the drills. I mean, you know, it's in the parking lot, but there are like statues around. It's actually, it's not, it's, it's pretty beautiful right where they're standing. They're standing up on their chairs, but then you have like this little naked boy with like a bowl cut <laughs> don't make fun of me i'll profane this ritual hey kids your ceremony is <laughs> considered a ceremony i don't know depends on who you ask i guess i think it's behind blue eyes it changes yeah no one knows what it's like to be the batman it's not batman that's what my wife and i always say though be the bad man. The Batman behind blue eyes. Tripping hazard. No one told him he's supposed to dress up. He's gonna be able to get real clothes soon. He's almost a grown a grown man. And then he will get his outfit and his rifle. Well, wait, he's already got a rifle. Never mind. <laughs> he gets an outfit. Guys, pump out those jams. Pump up the jam. Uh, pump out those advanced components. Go get your helmet, though. Yeah, today's been a lot easier than yesterday, even with the increased zombie stuff. I can turn them up even higher for ship launch, which seems like a bad idea, but I think I might do it. I think I might do it. Are you still there, R Square, by the way? Not a question. Masterwork. Congratulations, you're an adult. You can get clothing. Hey, bull goods. We really want exotic goods. I don't remember the last time I saw it. Sorry. Don't spend expensive clothes on children. That's right. They're always growing out of them. Uh, components, advanced components. I could just literally buy the beer. Don't really sell a lot of it, though. They don't sell a lot of it. Um, we get more medicine while they're here. I'm even higher for ship launch. That's right. The zombie difficulty. For the real DLC this year. Yeah, they said late fall, early winter, but who knows? So you simply do not have enough time for them all. Yeah. 
late fall, early winter is when we'll hear more. Oh, okay. You do what I was talking about. The game should have that. Too large clothing. Oh, thank thankfully, it's one size fits all. Whether you're a hulking monstrosity or a thin stick of a on from Devil Strand dusters to cataphract armor, it fits everyone. Rib world. It better not start with an M or a W. Tynan. Or what? Or nothing. Or I'll complain. It better not or so help me. I'll complain about it. Won't, won't be serious complaints, but... Devil Strand spandex. <laughs> or in spandex. I think 1100 Plasteel should last us a bit. I think it'll last us a bit. Oh, I'm making like a real ship ish this time. Uh, there we go. You're such a tough material. Do you think it actually feels soft your skin? Yeah, I don't think so. I wouldn't think so. Rough cloth sweater on your skin. Ugh. Watch time. Not quite. Yeah, we're building it though. Alright, for Titan's line of themed rib restaurants. It all makes sense now. I know I don't have to do this, but. Do it anyway. Building a ship. Watch day. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, the goal is to do it tomorrow. It's going to take us a while to build the ship. Because we have to basically produce all of our advanced components, which just takes time. We have five people making them. We have plenty of people mining resources for it. But yeah, it's just going to take time to make the... All the stuff. Actually, I don't want any... Yeah, we're going to save that and finish it last. I don't want anyone breaking that Persona core at the very end. Oh, we'll, we'll wait. I believe it's with them with fur. Rare, if not more so. Yeah. I wish there was better ways to get Hyper Weave without a mod. Thermo fur, I mean, you know you're going to get some over time with Rumbo's wandering in as events, but Hyper Weave is kind of frustrating to get. But at least there's Devil Strand. It's about creativity. All right. Um, we're going to have to switch back over to Steel for a little bit. Those supplies going again. Oh, another bulk goods trader. Nice. Nice. Wish it was exotic goods, but man. There's no exotic goods traders. None. Airman hunting trip. Yeah, that's what I... Oh, what? Exotic goods. What are the odds? <laughs> excellent. Excellent. All right, uh, let's sell some of the psychites. I do need jeans here. Still got quite a bit of barrels. Perfect unity, nearsighted, delicate. Curious though what they are. Ageless. Crafting skill trainer. Might grab those. Might grab those. I need more gold suits here. Actually, uh, it's not stored over there. It's stored near the. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. So I. So that I don't have to mine that out. We'll grab that as long as we have enough. But we might not have enough. Um. 
Yeah, I guess we'll just mine it when we need it. Alright, crafting trainers. It'll help us a little bit. Let's see. Let's get some of these that are crafting that aren't quite as good. Leveled up there. And do we fix the brain injury? Have we Delstrian in cloth? The, the, the difference really useful. So Hyperweave and Thrumbo Fur are the highest defensive in the game. One of them is slightly more sharp defense and one of them is slightly more blunt defense. Uh, but they're pretty comparable in general. And then Delstrian is right behind them as the third best textile. I mean, it can matter. It can make the difference, especially on some of those one shot areas, you know. Generally, especially if you're not playing on super hard difficulty, I would just say not to worry about it too much like the difference going from a cloth duster and shirt to like a devil strand cloth or a double strand duster and shirt is much much lower than getting a flak vest right but it's not one or the other you can get both but in general i would worry more about getting better helmets and flak vests than i would about upgrading your uh textile that you use but you know it does add extra percent so it can make the difference in those one shots Strand has some higher heat resist. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, Thermofur has some pretty good properties for cold as well, right? So temperature properties. But yeah, if you're looking for like the very best though, Hyperweave and Thermofur are pretty much tied-ish for one. And then Devil Strand, which you can actually produce on your own, is, uh, is a third. Yeah, and even like heavy fur can be good, you know. It's more like use whatever the best material you have is and don't worry too much if it's not the absolute best. What I would say. Reezy, 57 months. Something, something almost full year. No, I think 57 is just about there, man. Thank you, Reezy. That's a long time. A long time. Now, any moment, we'll see the other Jair come in that Makes it so I have to call you Reezy. Putting wall behind the thrusters? Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with that? What could go wrong? Not like they're steel. Um, the, these aren't flammable at all. No, I'm, pr I'm protecting the ship this time. Not running into that issue again. Boy, we ran ourselves through that steel stockpile real fast, but we got plenty of miners. Rhino, I'll compete, or at least compete with Devil Strand. They are much harder to cure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess technically you could farm those, you know, but... Yeah. Realistically, just growing Devil Strand is enough. To close, Devil Strand becomes very fire resistant. Probably the best protection outside of Phoenix Armor against specific types of weapons. <laughs> and again, hopefully it never comes down to that, right? Hopefully it doesn't come down to you needed a little bit more protection against fire, right? Because that, that means other things are probably going poorly that could have been improved on in different ways. But it's nice to have the extra percent when you do need it or when you do make those mistakes or whatever. Or when you get uh, like inundated by events and you're behind. It can matter, but... I don't think it matters as much as a lot of people put emphasis on as far as there are other more important things to help you, I think. The Tesseract attack. I usually just try to outrange them, but not everyone plays in that outrange kind of kind of way. Out on fire, Devil Strand, or Claw. Fire out, Suitor. It is more resistant, yeah, as long as they don't fall down. Things don't fall over, and they're just gonna burn to death anyway. Wait, we really went through that stockpile. It's all right, though.
I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Here's 40 and it's phasing through the time period. <laughs> oh no, the episode's over. Hey, if you're wondering, my daughter kept asking me the same thing over and over, even though I've already answered it. And then was just standing in the doorway, saying it over and over again. So. Fun times. <laughs> Ugh. All right, all right. Back to shipbuilding. Is that sometimes? Yes, yes, I know. It just makes it worse. Uh, the teen years. I was a good child. Yep, yep. That's what I had to do. Ah, uh, Kim, salute. Kim, welcome back. Welcome back. Alrighty, so we need to take all 25 and I guess we need to make 26. Teen, pretty much, yeah. Just about. About to turn 13. Enjoy one as a day of, but why? That's exactly what was happening. That is exactly what was happening, the but why. There's the door open. It's your dad. Stop watching NASCAR and tell you to close it. <laughs> Where do I work? Right here. What do you mean? I work right here. My chair in Indianapolis. <laughs> Alright. Is that... I guess we need to take the, uh, the baby that died, right? Or the, yeah, the kid. The kid that died. So... Uh, I should have spread these out more. I'm trying to make it look more ship-like than I usually do, but it's going to take longer if I do that. For the theme. One, two, three. That we can get rid of. Yeah, so even though it's not going to be like uh, as efficient. You know what? I'm, I might still get rid of it. We're going to have that inner part. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And it's ship-like enough. That's where the um, the weapons will go. But last night, the lightning was so wild. The sky was going nuts. All right. We'll just do it the old... Well, not the old-fashioned way. Usually the old-fashioned way for me is just a big square, but... It's going to be harder to defend this way. Oh, well. No res serum. Hopefully they find a res serum on whatever glitter glitter world that they definitely will make it to. There's 14.11 now. Hormones do suck, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, no, I, I'm, I do content creation full time, so. I work from this office, from this room. Hold for gameplay. You actually have the shit. Be an undertaking. Uh, I guess an animal is attacking a zombie out there. Rave zombies out there. Things are looking pretty good today. Man, it's night and day from, from yesterday, though. Yesterday was pretty crazy. And tomorrow will probably be crazy, too. Uh, I'm seeing everyone this time, yeah. It's just because of the RP of the run. Normally I don't. Usually I just send one person to get to the credits, but you know, we're role playing. How do you wish you could do? Role playing. Role playing the zombie apocalypse. Would no, I said that uh, anyone that wanted to join us to get off the planet, I would, I would try to keep them alive and try to get them off the planet so uh there's a zero percent threat day and there's gonna be another one pollution problem i don't really think we need to do anything out there yeah the planet's gonna be destroyed so anyone we left behind would be dead Five. The zombie plague or is someone finally let's, yeah, yeah, we're gonna nuke it from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. It's the only way to be sure. Alright, look how fast the game's running now without two hundred zombies. And then they're immediately starting to respawn, it's gonna go to zero again. One has to push the button. No, it's being being destroyed from space. this time the planet killer was actually infected in rimworld the movie that's right a post credit scene and it's kin <laughs> that would be so good uh i it can't happen obviously but that makes so much sense it would make so much sense next playthrough yeah the next one i'm probably doing uh bows only is kind of the plan right now i might change it eight colonists for 19 days i don't think so but uh yeah i'm probably gonna try bows only it's been a while since i did a run where i didn't min max guns you know so doing a crazy run where we have to use just bows uh it should be should be pretty entertaining Poison's Max, I've done it before. But. Yeah. It's gonna be nuts. I have some plans for it in general. Yeah, not the same run as the mood swap. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, high psychic drone. Uh, we'll just leave them as they are right now. If we start seeing some major breakdowns, we'll uh, we're straight to inside, but. Need new clothes, take another bow. Dark rain. Triggers all of the water molecules to split into their components. It ignites the hydrogen. I wonder what the planet killer is uh, in RimWorld lore. An interstellar planet killer weapon is approaching this planet. It will smash the planet apart with a rifle bullet, or like a rifle bullet, hitting an egg, annihilating all life. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
What's worse than that? Just a really big rock would do the job instead. Your head use a large variety of weapons. Feel like that'd be difficult to manage on no pause. Could be a fun challenge. We get a kill box that can utilize pistols, machine guns, snipers. Realm from the low firepower. Yeah, there's definitely some things you can do like that. Um, I remember a long time ago. This is before 500% existed. There was, I guess, something relatively similar to that that we set up in a run. Um, that you could probably still make work. It was basically a um big crossfire section where the close range weapons were like immediately in you know like so you have the area leading in and then like the close range stuff was here and then we had like snipers on this side and this side that's forever ago i don't know i'm sure you make it work these days even more but only allowed one of each weapon that'd be crazy. yeah that would be kind of nuts oh how or how you'd make that work. I think everyone's ending right as we get a breakdown from it. Too smart. Okay. Alright, what are we lacking here? Advanced opponents still. Yeah. This will put us at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, at 16. I can't imagine that we're going to do any more researching. We were making the ship, right? So. Could you thought about longer and having small weapons on sides? Worried about forcing the enemies to the side? Yeah, so the... And back when we did that, um, I would put turrets in the box as well to, to pull aggro. So it was really about trying to get them aggroed into that that area and then hit them with longer range from the side and it, it had its own problems though like um you know uh, the wall is getting destroyed at that entrance which a, a lot of kill boxes have that problem um but also line of sight in general a lot of times is a problem with the, the like cross formation or whatever you want to call it One nice thing about not having any doors leading outside is that when someone's having a breakdown, I don't have to worry about them wandering out into these zombie areas. Can't destroy the wall. Almost at 500,000 wealth. So it is just a big rock, the planet killer, the w weapon. When are you going to grow up there, child? You're almost there. You're almost there. <clears throat> oh, it's just shiny rocks. Still really good on Plasteel. Steel's looking really good again. Uranium is a little bit low. We probably want to pull some more of that out. Uh, there's plenty of places of uranium around. Also pull some of that silver out. Maybe. Just in case we get another trade ship. It's that two though. Gun Giggy, welcome in. On Rimworld, really couldn't get into it. Watching the videos. Grass game now. Now losing is fun. <laughs> Thank you. They were coming over. They were watching on all the places. Best way to get rid of an unwanted colonist. Don't want to make the other colonists sad. Um I mean the the smallest mood hit 
is just going to be to banish them, honestly. So all this mood hit's going to be banish them, but you can take care of the the um, the mood in other ways, right? It's going to be a, a minor, a minor one. Unless everyone hates them, unless they're like rivals with everyone, and then in which case you can just kill them. People get happy instead. Watching the Gord Vod is giving you good quotes. How are you liking the Gord playthrough? I saw that um, you made a couple comments on there, and you got some quotes from it. Like so far, I've liked it. I've liked playing it. Yeah, you can try to make them actually rivals or enemies with everyone. Caravan them somewhere. Yeah, you can get colonists lost that way, but I was well just banish. You could, yeah, you could force them to be guilty, and then execute them. But, you know, their loved ones are still going to be upset that, they, that their loved one died. Whereas if their loved one's banished, it's not as big of a deal. Watch all of them now. I have way through the last one. The peas, the horror. Yeah, it's a good thing I wasn't using magic until then, huh? Just happened to have that at the ready. At least it didn't have me kill a child that time. <laughs> Uh, what are we waiting on? Advanced components still. Wait, hang on. Are we out of gold? I bet we're out of golds. No, acidic smog is here. We're out of golds. Okay. Uh, hopefully it doesn't last. Long friggin' time. Catch you live on the Rimworld again. How's it going, Slink? Welcome back. Patch the thing of imprisoning someone and leave. Yes, they did. Yeah. yeah, that used to be the best way is to make them a prisoner and let them escape. I have a funny story about that, too. Um, But they made it so that now people get a debuff. People now get a debuff for a prisoner escaping the map, so. Here, take this with a grenade and throw it at me. Okay, now get out. Yeah. Right, yeah. Banishing. Banishing, not killing. But if they're not related to anyone, you can just make them guilty and execute if you wanted. Well, it depends on what your ideology likes too, right? So. Yeah. Banishment's generally the best way. How long can it last? I'm not sure what the max time is. It seems to last a few days on average, but I'm not sure what the actual uh, like maximum is on a map that's only like 5% polluted like ours. Uh, come on, Solar Flare. I only got time for this. Thank you. We have enough food built up. It's not a huge deal this time as far as food goes. They were mainly just going to be unhappy about being out there. It's over. No, it's still going. Still going. The last like three years of super pollution, low pollution, I think it never hits like full quadrum. Other like, games back in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Red Alert 2 and uh, I think Tiberian Sun are probably my two favorite Command and Conquer, Conquer games. My playthrough of Command and Conquer Remastered is up on YouTube if you're ever curious to check that out. I still haven't replayed or played through uh, Red Alert Remastered. I was going to, and then uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Generals. I never played that, yeah. One of the few people that didn't, I guess. Generals are so good. Best atmosphere on Tiberium Sun. Then I took an arrow to knee. No, I took that way before I did that. Alert 2 is your favorite. Alert 2 is really good. I'm 
Somebody caught on fire again. <laughs> Man. Command and Conquer is one of those fallen franchises that I'm so disappointed that they went the way they did with it. There he goes. That zombie. Westwood feels bad, yeah. Tanya. Oh god, some of those missions in the original, well, I mean, on the remaster that I did with, uh, like, the hero units. Things stick in your head forever. That was left-handed. That was left-handed. That was left-handed. Dungeon Keeper, Syndicate, Grand Conquer. Maxis, yeah. I wasn't even thinking about Maxis. Yeah. Yeah. Blonde Smog. All right, we are pulling gold out again, though, so our um, advanced component production has started back up. Excellent. Have a Command Conquer Remaster playthrough? Yep, yep, it's on the main YouTube channel, yep. Damage take 50% damage or something, so that makes stuff like grenades fun. Yeah, that explains a lot, actually, on that playthrough. Red Alert 3 was okay, yeah. I wouldn't say that, like, Red Alert 3 was the... It definitely wasn't, like, the downfall game. It was okay. But then, uh... Yeah, from there... When your first RTS? Remaster. Remaster Tiberian Zombie, awesome, yeah. I hope that um, the remaster of original Command and & Conquer and uh, the first Red Alert showed enough interest that maybe they'll be willing to do some of those other ones. Children are gone. They've grown up. They've grown up. All but one child has grown up. Well, I mean, aside from the ones that died, but... So, there's too much going on. Too many special abilities. It's team level. Not bad, but busy. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I remember playing Command & Conquer on, on PlayStation as well. Oh my god. RTS. I remember also playing getting StarCraft because I liked it so much on N64. Good lord. Playing RTSs like that on a console already feels terrible. But then you get the controller that's like three bananas, you know, strapped together. And it's just a whole nother, <laughs> it's a whole nother ballgame. StarCraft on N64. Good lord. Wake up at 5 a.m. playing Command & Conquer until school. Mr. Metal TV series. Nostalgia for the gameplay. Yeah, I haven't seen, seen anything about if that, if people are liking Twisted Metal show or not. Starcraft is on N64, yep. Best controller ever made. Yeah, maybe if you have three hands. I actually really do like the game uh, GameCube controller, though. GameCube controller is still one of my favorites. Every time there's a new Smash Brothers, I have to get the adapter to use the game cube controller. Her Twisted Metal is actually pretty good. It's interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. Shaming you for having three hands. Uh, wait, you don't have three hands? The game control yeah, GameCube controller is... Uh, actually, my favorite controller is the PlayStation 5 controller. I really like the PS5 controller. Um, and then my second favorite is probably the GameCube controller. I would like Xbox controllers more, especially the new generation ones, if the left joystick and the D-pad were swapped. I know you can get custom controllers like that. You can also get, like, Microsoft or NVIDIA controllers that are, that are that control scheme, but 360 is a classic. Third part? <laughs> what? I don't know. Hey, the final adult, baby animals. Industrious psychopath, another fast learner or tough or trigger happy. Well, I mean, we're about to do ship launch, so you're not really going to have time to get a bunch of this learned. So might just go trigger happy for ship launch. We're almost we're almost done with all this stuff, so we can even make them into a shooting specialist, honestly. 
that's the case, we would just grab, like, that. All right, baby animals, congratulations. Got an original Xbox? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, you loved it. Hope season two will come out soon. Yeah, I'm checking it out. Earlier yesterday, there was a big, beautiful boat out there. So by the guy who owns it. I have this large game boat with a PS5 controller. That's interesting. Make another set of hostile heads too. Congratulations, baby animals. You can wear clothes and you can get a name. All right, let's see. Hopefully the last name we have in this playthrough. Shake. They're way ahead of you on the gun part. Okay. Some doctors on the end there. I'll go ahead and uh, put those in that spot to prepare. Will Dirtman be named? No, we named him Dirtman. We had a um a connection with the the Dirt Child name. So, how many days for the Planet Killer? Um, two hundred and fifty. Two fifty. It's actually getting closer. Than I thought it would. I almost set it for eight instead of ten. We would have actually been cutting it pretty close. Inspector. Dirt Man. Dirt Man is his name. He was Dirt Baby. Then Dirt Child. Now, Dirt Man. Uh, they eat like two and a half times more than a normal colonist. Aside from that, they're an excellent, excellent pawn. Dirt Man. Alright, gold is good. Uh, we're gonna need more plastic again pretty soon. Uh, how are we doing on the uranium front? Yeah, we're good on that now, so. Switch this back over to the plasteel node. He has a name, and that name is Dirt Man. We don't talk about Dirt Club. It's the first rule, I guess. What are dirt related superpowers? Um. He's really good at mining. <laughs> He's fast. I don't know. That doesn't seem like it has anything to do with that. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe come Dirt Cyborg. Gleaming endowment. Uh, is... Josme? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Been sitting on these for a while. Enjoy the stream a lot. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for the thousand bits. Um, very much appreciate it. They've using them here. For anyone that doesn't know, I get asked sometimes, like, how do bits help you? So every bit that is given... Oh my god, the Pipeman's still alive! 
Every bit that's given, I get a I get a penny. What? For subs. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the thousand bits. Well, that was a shocker. I didn't see him coming. <laughs> 23,000 damage. 774 shots fired. And now the zombies are gone. So he's like, now it's my time. <laughs> penny earned as well. You guessed it. A penny earned. I mean, yeah, imagine he gets in, gets a lucky shot or something. I'm gonna leave him alive. He's uh, he's our pet. Let's go build a wall around him. God, I thought he was dead. He survived like not only all the zombies all the time, but also like two or three raids, right? In fact, one of the raids is like right next to him up here, but apparently, apparently he survived. That uranium. I stopped mining more, but now we should be just getting um, last steel and gold. No, not auto door. I don't know. No, no, no. Fancy ship, fancy ship. Oh, his time has come to kill more zombies. I'd take him on the ship with us if we could. It's like, yes, they're back. Look at him, he's trying to kite it. Fancy ship, fancy ship. Does whatever a fancy ship does, that's right. Friggin I mean zombie kill of the day. Zombie kill of the day. Z Z zombie kill of the day. There we go. He's, he's got it. You guys having a party up there at random tables? Let's select all the tables, all 42 of them. Turn them off as a gathering spot. Have these three be the gathering spots. There we go. We're doing good, lad. It's my pet pikeman carefully bites. Sponsored by Raid Channel Legends. All right, we're up to 22 caskets. Well, well. The end is nigh. What do you mean nay? Fine, well, that's not the same ideology as converting your others. 20% hit. Oh, it's because, yeah, it's... It's all right. It's, it's... That high mate social. Yeah, I didn't notice it was a 20 hit on someone. Man. Be fine. Cain managed to get through converting the entire colony to their religion, you know? I guess that just means that is the real religion. We should, we should be okay with it. Pikeman, just don't shoot at it. It will love you forever. You're welcome. Use drill arms in field hands. I do sometimes, yeah. I really thought about installing drill arms this time. I didn't. We do have, I think, one or two field hands. I, I, I like them overall. Uh, especially if you get to the point where you can also give them like a bionic leg, right? So it's, you know, it's weird that those arms make the movement speed slower. That's the thing that they do. But yeah, as long as you don't mind the, um, slight speed hit, uh, specialized limbs on specialized pawns like that are good. Pikeman will be king of the, what if the Pikeman survives all the way until the planet destroyer? Guys, I don't know if I can live myself with this. Pikeman is on the planet when the when it's destroyed. I don't, 
but like the field hands I, I don't know maybe they're afraid to like move their arms in a normal fashion so they like have to put their, their field hands out I think it took damage during one of the either from friendly fire or during one of the raids yeah. I don't think it's actually taking it from the uh, zombies I don't think so, anyway. Let me respawn. We gotta keep an eye out. Or, uh, explosive zombies. There's a minor one. Okay. Fine. Also block this off in case a miner comes from there. Those bionics, uh, is that they can be changed one way, feel hands, drill arms, bionic arm. And do it other ways. Other bad part is, uh, they need a shoulder co to connect to. It's kind of odd. Like, if you have someone that, uh, is missing just their, their if it says missing arm to attach it, unless they fix that. But I remember back in the 20 year run, we ran into that. Where we were going to give someone drill arms, but they were missing shoulders, and we weren't able to install them. Uh, just Mark, thank you for the donation. Don't get to watch the stream live, you watch a ton of the stuff on YouTube. Uh, thank you, Mark, for the support. Thank you for watching on YouTube, that helps out a ton as well. Shoot it. Yeah, it has to have something to connect to. Understand why your walls look like that? Just will willfully ignoring it. Oh yeah, when we uh, when something destroys a little part, I'm like, ah, instead of going out there, let's just build more. Our base is shrinking over time. <laughs> Shoulder, drill arm replaces arm, field hand replaces hand. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much if you are already certain what you want on them, but. It is, uh... Interesting thing to, to remember. Car on arm, you can't fix it with field hand, for instance. Mm. Um, no, nah, I don't want to stay here long enough to get the beer done. Let's do a wave of rice to get everything built up. 22. 23, 24, 25. Okay. Um, wait, wait, we need 26, right? Yeah. Six. All right, we'll take some dogs with us. Take a breeding pair of dogs to the new planet, for God's sake. Be nice to be able to put a bionic or a field hand on a bionic arm, yeah. Or just have bionic hands. I'm sure there are mods for all those things, of course, but yeah, it would be nice if uh, bionic hands and feet and things like that replace them individually. Maybe not all the way down to like the finger level, but yeah. here we are. The ship. I have to look after the pikeman when the in comes. That's right. That's right. Oh my god. Manhunter. And we're about to have the walls opened up. Where are they spawning at? Maybe they'll clear this. Yeah, come on, bears. Get him. Oh, my God. Bears. Get the breacher. <laughs> Get him. Bears, here. 
Yes. Mm. All right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Um... Alright, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just uh, closing our base a little bit more again. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. Game first time 5200 hours YouTube videos that was awesome yeah congrats congrats you got to hear the song on your end unless you did the um the Arco Nexus which unfortunately doesn't have the song why didn't they put the song for the Arco Nexus what the crap well I guess it, we're not really going to the stars but anyway uh blue congrats congrats now the question is have you already started on your next run Waiting for the sun. Yeah, it's so good. I only let myself hear it if I get to the credits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I doubt we're going to get a res serum, so probably will. I'll just do it. Feel slightly underwhelmed at the Arc Nexus. Yeah. All right. Um, how's our gold looking? Gold's back up to 200, so we'll pull this back to steel. Prove it, but it's just forgotten. Left to never be done again. I probably will do another Arc Nexus run. I have an idea that I'm going to do like a speed Nexus and, and play really recklessly on 500% and see how fast we could rush wealth to get the three Arc Nexuses done. But it's even that, when I think about it, I'm like, ah, I don't know if I feel like it. But it's on my list of things to do. Alright. I don't really need to do it this way. But I'm going to anyway. I'll just use that uranium. Also making sure the ship is really, really safe. It's overkill, but overkill, underkill. Remember what happened on the last run? Oh my god. I didn't defend, I didn't put anything around the ship and, yeah, well, that was a mistake. Any events can be put to work? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Feels like Cluster. There's so many things, I, I talked about it right after it came out. There's so many things they could have done to make the Arco Nexus feel more interesting. So many things. But just get to the same wealth over and over and sell the colony. It's, it's not interesting to me. And then a lot of it doesn't make sense. I mean, it's a game and everything. And it's like gamified, you know. But like. <laughs> you, you have this group of people that you've been with the whole time. And it's like, eh. Only the five of us are going to stay together, though. And we're going to forget you guys exist. And you're going to show back up mostly as raiders. And we're going to kill you later. I need the doors so that I can get all the way through the walls I'm going to build. But it's just, I want something around the uh, the ship while we're doing ship launch to absorb any kind of uh, hits from enemies that come in. The the ending is, yeah. yeah. A pirate faction hits really harder. If had, you would have expected them. Something is missing. Yeah, it, it was almost like their attempt at like a new game plus sort of thing, and it just doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't feel great to me, anyway. I'm sure, there are some people that love it, but.
Made yourself build a ship for all the people you were leaving behind. Each iteration, never completed it though, because it was too long. Heard of, yes, yes. Run up to his ship launch, send all but five to do first Arco, yeah. I'm, actually, I'm still surprised we didn't get a new ending on, or with biotech, that was really shocking. I think maybe part of the reason they didn't do it is because of uh, how much negative feedback they got from ideology ending. Leave a casket for a spitter, no. <laughs> it would be really interesting to see if you could put a spitter in one, though. Do we still have the shock lance? Now, as a generational voyage, send just the kids. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, like the Mechanic Tour. It would be really awesome to have to fight some kind of like real boss or something as the as the final thing. And then you have its discarded corpse and your Mechanic Tour gets in, becomes one with the machine, something. Move from one Arco thingy to the next. How many kills? Uh, let's, let's grab a random bear and see. There's so many of them, though. Thirty-seven on that one. Blast! Was, yeah, <laughs> giant mech suit. Yeah, exactly. Let's go ahead and sit. That'd be pretty cool. Be eternally established settlements. The black stuff. It's a special zombie thing. It's basically zombie bile, tar, slime, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it causes things to go across to be very slow. It's also super flammable. Sludge zombie. All right, am I gonna fix the brain? Let's put Jim through that cycle and let's see how long it would take to fix his brain after that's done. Let's see. We'll tune it to him, and we'll go from there. I might say no. We'll see, Jim. We'll see. Devil Strand is the best. Devil Strand is the third best textile. So it's the best one you can just, like, grow yourself. All right. We're supposed to take Cisco with us. Right. Right. I guess we need to make a heart. <laughs> right, right, Siska. Forgot they existed, honestly. To be completely honest with you. Once upon a time, they're going to be our crafter. That was a long time ago. It's been a while since we saw a spitter, huh? We had like three or four pretty close together. We haven't seen one in a long time. I'm not sure why. A few hours of sewing, I think. Basically, gaining a reputation as an unsuitable bastion. He gets into an architect world, yeah. Our master world doesn't have the scale of planetary transformation. They're lore wise, the gameplay doesn't get anywhere near. Yeah. Sure. 
This is actually bigger than uh, without mods. It's way bigger than what Tynan wants there to be. Interesting. Just talking about earlier, Smurf posted um, the a reminder about Tynan's tweet from like late 2019, early 2020, where he was asked like, why is the game multi-core and why, why does it run so slow with more pawns? And he literally said, uh, well, you're not supposed to have that many. You're not supposed to even have 20. Like it's completely against the core of the game. There's no story with 20 pawns. So, kind of interesting. He wants you to stay like eight to 12 pawns, basically. Are you getting kids then? That's his tweet. Drill becomes less important with so many. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, play it however you want. You like playing like that, for sure. Meganoids kill you. That's just part of the story. I mean, we've done hardest difficulty launches with just like five pawns, you know, it's possible. Like the A2L balance. Right, he wants it to be a story generator, yeah. I don't think he ever uh, thought or intended that people would use it as like a min-max combat base builder, you know? Look at the multicolor and it just... It's into how he thinks the story should go anyway, yeah. But yeah, with biotech, that's right. They they have babies constantly. Even if you put them on 25%, unless you... Um, we had to do that in this one. I had to give vasectomies to like... Every, every time we had a new married couple, I was like, all right, snip, snip time. Come to the hospital. I mean, some of his th thoughts could have changed since 2020. Opinions do, and philosophies even do change, right? Yeah, it was what I was thinking too, like ideology joint events make it very easy to get a ton of pawns. Your colony that started with two has about 20 pawns now. Most all their children are in-laws. Social tab. Yeah, when someone dies, yeah. Bad things for large fights and instant death. Yeah. The game is also s supposed to be played on like 100%, right? Important stuff like making bionics. Uh, 20 pawns, 22 for dual singularity. Yeah, for the most part, I usually try to get in like mid 20s. Alpaca and River broke up. Wow, Alpaca, you're just breaking up with everyone. What's up with that, huh? I saw this. I saw the light. <laughs> well. We had two children with them, one of which died, yeah. I got eaten completely, right? Or it might be the one in the casket. All right, let's see if they'll get over this. River, just forget about them. Their name was Alpaca, for God's sake. Crap. I didn't realize they were body purists. I didn't remember that. <laughs> wow. Um. Yep. You know what, I'm, gonna do, I'm not going to do the extra doors over here. We'll just do the... I don't need it to be that safe. It's fine. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and put this one in there. Can you not put them in there anymore? I thought you could put them in the sarcophagus even so. Burying them. A sign. 
how, how would you like me to do that? We're supposed to combo of ideology memes. RNG and see you in a run. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. Dead kid. Yeah, maybe you can't do it anymore. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Probably the tree huggers and tree huggers. The body purity one. Oh my god, that was terrible. Um. Yeah, if you are doing like the RNG run, running to either of those or those together would be pretty rough. We're gonna have to leave the kid back here to get destroyed with the planet. That's unfortunate. Well. Should we give them the heart before? Nah, you know what? Just shove them in there. Yeah. Deserves it. <laughs> there. Yeah, there. There is no. There is no thing you can set up. We'll fix them when we reach. Yeah. Fine. Sucks. We have to leave that kid behind though. Legendary pants. All right. Get rots. They were rotting. Yeah. Maybe they're too far gone. Zombies don't like fire. That's weird. They might have during like random. Oh, they, he's been there for a couple years now. I think maybe. Anyway, after after like random outages and stuff, be rotted too much. Maybe that's it. I don't, I'm not sure. Not sure. Oh well, I guess. Oh, resurrection serum for that kid. I mean, unless we get one, like, in just the next 30 minutes or something. <laughs> Sorry, kid. We tried. We tried. Yeah, today's been a lot more straightforward than yesterday. Looking forward to the other settings of this when we do them, like the super strong but wave zombies, right? The ones where you don't get permanent zombies out here, but zombies are an event. Also, think it'd be interesting with the ones that spawn differently, like the ones that only spawn in the dark, which I would have a problem with that in this, or ones that only spawn on soft ground. Again, we're good. <laughs> I guess they would come out of the, the rice here, but that's about it. He gets resurrection psychos immediately. Yeah, well, that's for the future columns to worry about. We'll just rip this down when the when it's ship time. <clears throat> when the launching or when the launch sequence is done. What a ship this is gonna be. Did remind you of fan comics. You know those ones. Many days left. We got about 250 days, so we got plenty of time. But if this ship got destroyed during launch or something, could see us running uh, running low on time.
Confused and wondering. 175 years old. A tortoise with a bad back and dementia. Oh, no. A zombie just blew up somewhere. Where? And the walls get thinner. Uh, Rimworld fan comic. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. We're going to want to come clean that, which would be annoying. Here, don't, don't be cleaning the gunk that's coming through there, please. Team in Saxavia, rescue them. You can, yeah. Yep. It's uh, 20 to vault the wall, yep. 20, not easy. That's actually getting pretty close to that number, but I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, that had to be getting pretty close. I didn't see the little like red marker over them or whatever and the sound that they make we had that happen down here earlier i thought they were about to come over but we had to lure them away with, with someone else um are we on the seal we're good so zusha make another hospital bed we're production specialists, so. Volcanic winter. Hmm. I really don't want to wait that out. Really don't want to wait that long. See how cold it gets from it. We might end up having to actually do sun lamps for that. Shall see. Oh, he was already on it. Kind of a crappy time to get that. Uh, volcanic winter can last up to 40 in-game days. Obviously in-game, but yeah. 40 days, volcanic winter. I think the... Is the minimum 20? Maybe the average is 20. But yeah, it can last up to 40. Way to go. It's a sure way to go. Keep pumping out those masterwork hospital beds. Green walls burn and vanilla, they do not. Nope. Fortunately, one of the walls that don't burn. Uh, it's metal, not burning. It's the only river of steel. Uh, they changed it for Plasteel. Plasteel used to burn a long time ago. But that changed in maybe 1.2-ish or something like that. So Plasteel no longer burns in vanilla, but steel still does. Panic winter is minimum is like 10 ish, so it's 10 to 40. Uh, it's not getting that cold. All right, it is time to use the persona core. Zidian, you build it. Nope, someone else is already on it. Kane? Don't screw this up, Kane. Oh, you were just delivering. Okay. And we've had that thing forever. 
Green walls do not burn. Nope. No promises. The bottom static. No, they can't get to them. Nope. But neither can, can the enemies. So as soon as the ship is done, we will just rip that down and we'll go to space. Usually I use um, like spots for that instead. So I don't have to build stuff to protect from raiders dropping in it. But in this one, spitters don't care about spots and they can just bullseye stuff. So I got to make sure zombie spitters can't shoot zombies in there. So we're being extra safe after this long run. Hopefully it'll be enough. So yeah, as soon as the uh, ship launch, hopefully, countdown is done, we will rip the center out and, uh, and go in there. I mean, I could have made doors all the way down, but... Eh. A little over prepared, but not not to that extent, at least. So if they break that, they could still hit through the corner. Panted over a zombie spitter one time. I confused. Thought it was just a zombie that spits. Didn't think. Yeah, yeah. First time I read it, I had no idea either. But it was basically a zombie mortar. God, they're so accurate, too. We've seen one with like 138 waves. Yeah, the ship got down to like 13% because it didn't wall it in the last run yet. <laughs> Don't want that to happen again. Yeah, that one was a close one. Alright, that'll be it. For this stream was yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, really today. Got a nudist run? Yep, the cheese run. Uh in the cheese run, it's up I, I don't know if exclamation cheese will go to it, but I have a run on YouTube. You can just type in Rimworld Cheese and you'll probably find it or Adamers Everything Cheese. Um Why I choose Uranium. It's not flammable. It's built really quickly, and we have a ton of it around that mines quickly. But in the cheese run, we were nudist. We were blind nudist. Blind sight nudist. Uh, there's no typo in that, and it's not the, the right link. But yeah, cheese run is up on YouTube if you want to check it out. It's very cheesy, but it we did it with blind sight nudist. All right, ship is done. Shouldn't need any more uranium unless we need to like repair it or something. Yeah, I have to update that command. That's some of the cheese we use in that run, though, at that link. So the link it still is a thing, but. Um, let's see. I want to get some extra food for mood during the launch really quick. Pump it out really quickly. Maybe. Two and a half thousand zombies. Aren't you lactose intolerant? No. All right, let's see how long it would take to fix J Jim's brain. If it's much longer than 15 days, we're not going to do it. But I think it's going to. I mean, he's not transhumanist, right? So... Oh, it's 18 days. Okay. 
Thankfully, because of the um, sterile tile. In fact, hang on. Uh, it's already sterile, but... Anyway, the sterile tile and uh, it being attuned to him speeding up quite nicely. Next year's next. Are those possible in real life? Need one. Bioregeneration cycle. All right, so yeah, done with the uranium. Uh, we will need some steel for the launch, probably a little bit more than that. Seven four three waste packs. Yeah, that's how this mess happened down here. What? Oh, right. They're uh, they're sickly. Anyway, that's how this mess down here happens. Seven of those. Is that how we got the Persona Core? Looks like it might be. Maybe. Feels like that might have been what that one was from. Put a fire foam popper in there too. In the corners, preposterous. Oh, not even him. Hey, okay, someone made a mask work. Just thought you should know. Uh, volcanic winter. Two days. Okay. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> Really awesome shelves. Whoa. 17 days, Jim. 17 days. Okay. Do we wait for Jim's assistance for ship launch? Or do we have him waking up right as we're... Right as the ship is finishing? <laughs> I'm thinking about waking him up when he's when it's finish, finishing. Uh, 747. Thank you for the five months. Thank you, a seven. Read all the art on the shelves. I don't think the shelves have art, right? Yeah. They, they don't have art on shelves. If they are on a dining chair, but not on a shelf. For some reason. All right. We got a lot of limestone to patch walls during the launch. Um... I mean, we could keep improving on things forever, but let's do this as well. Make assault rifle. Uh, do until we have X. X is one master worker better. We'll just have him start making those forever as we're, uh, as we're counting down here. I think we have maybe 10 combined legendary and master work. To sleep, Phil. Thank you for hanging out while you could. Have a good night. And I'm not sure we're going to be able to do the bounty today. Might have to do it tomorrow. Hmm. The problem is we might have to go out of the walls, but we could preemptively build all but like maybe a little patch on each side. And I'm probably gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do the bounty. We just don't have enough. 
Yeah. So it goes. I was looking forward to it, but oh well. What you gonna do? Maybe it'll change, but I doubt it. I need to basically retain the number I have now, which is not going to happen, so. We need to, like, retain 550 the entire time. It's not going to happen. But. Sorry, right, maybe there'll be enough after ship launch tomorrow. Maybe I need, I need to maintain over 550 the entire time. And judging by the percentage that leave when I switch off RimWorld, it's just probably not going to happen today. So hopefully tomorrow. Doing the viewer dance to attract viewers. I mean, it, it probably won't happen, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll give it about 15 minutes here and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Hey, masterwork already. Engraving on this weapon depicts wet rock polishing the surface of a bionic heart with a gleam in her eye. Bionic heart is intricately detailed. This image relates to wet rock completing the work on a bionic heart. You don't say. Alrighty, who's next? Who's next? Let's go by the way, Rosa. Welcome in. Yeah, and I actually pushed Gord off. We don't even have time to do much Gord tonight because I pushed it off for the bounty, but yeah, we'll see. Tomorrow is ship launch. Yep. Yep. Ship launch. That's the plan. Yeah, Gord's not the bounty, no. I was going to do both. I was going to do bounty and Gord, but I don't think we'll be able to. Maybe we can get some Gord in. Gord's been a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. And steal. I mean, we could do the rest of that up there. Would help during it, but maybe that's something we work on while, uh, while Jim is getting his brain fixed. We'll see. We'll see. It'd be nice this volcanic winter only lasts the 10 days that was mentioned. Ray's been a little quiet since the beginning of the stream, huh? Pretty active during the beginning, and then you know, he's kind of kind of been pretty sleepy. He's really had like chunks of activity this whole time. Spitters don't show up on that. I don't think that's a rainy thing, the spitters. I mean, obviously not, but... Uh, we don't need that uranium anymore. Buy products. Uh, they gave me it, yeah. They gave me it. They gave me a code to get, um... The code was to get... The pizza... Or no, excuse me, the, the bread... And a couple pizzas, so... Your name for Gord? Yeah, yeah. I've talked about it. I think I might start doing that. Even if I don't have like a queue for it, I might just do like a random, like all right, thing from the chat. You know, it'd be easier for me to remember who the crap is doing what in Gord as well. Who's good at what? Because it's really hard sometimes to remember when there's like three different people with names that start with P that are in like a language I don't understand. It's like twelve characters each. All right, which one of you was the one that was good at mining? So, whoa, when did that happen? Uh, I bet he mined through some of that. I remember Mick and Silver. Yeah, Mick and Silver. Psychite addiction? Ah, that's fine. We, we got plenty of Psychite. Enjoy.
Another masterwork. Nice. What's happening? Weapon is great with a depiction of Jim polishing the surface of an advanced component. But they really like making art out of things like advanced components. It seems like a super con common one. Uh, what do we got? We got excellent. excellent. Okay. I don't know that we'll need all this firepower, but might as well. Might as well make it. Jim is finally getting his brain fixed, so. Husky meat. Oh, why why do we have husky meat? It's a mystery to everyone. Two would be enough with this uh, efficient door thing to keep that super cold. I bet it would. We're gonna find out. Uh, actually, that's fine. All right, the horrors hit. Yeah, they have so much health. They have so much health. And since they're on permadeath, it's like really scary to even try them. But now that we actually have gold income, maybe we can get enough soldiers for stuff like that. You know. You can delay it for whatever 20 or 25 minutes to decide if we have enough gold built up literally turn everyone into like soldiers and see what happens but going darkness welcome in yeah so maybe we'll get to try it on one of the missions more cool come up and see yeah. <laughs> more cool's buffed he's growing up just imagine how fronted they would be if you try to teach them to haul anything much less like logs someone dying this run yes yeah we've had quite a few deaths let's see we have eight deaths we had three yesterday eight deaths half of those were children Link all those. Damage when you clicked on Morkel, 100 damage. Wonder how fast his attacks are. But yeah, it had like what? Almost 5,000 HP. The engraving this weapon shows a centipede blaster being defeated by Jim. What's up with all the Jim love here? With assault rifle with great heroism. The centipede blaster and Jim are both covered in entrails. The image is bordered by four seahorses. The work has a detailed or detail oriented feeling and a dynamic structure. This illustration refers to the defeating of the centipede blaster by Jim. Where are the entrails coming from? All right. We're inside the body, obviously. That's not what I mean. the zombies probably yeah that might be, might be true trying to put these art descriptions uh i did put one into mid journey during this run and the art was actually pretty awesome to be fair i'm sure the editor will put it in uh to the uh to the edited zombie run up on youtube but yeah, we did one. Uh, if we get one that's like really weird again, I'll do it. But these ones I probably won't, won't worry about. Mm -mm -mm. 
do do do. Another masterwork. This weapon is engraved with an illustration of a pool. Wait, 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 a pool. Hang on. You're, t you're telling me you could perhaps dig something and put water in? What if we use this technology to make a moat? What? That's not realistic. You guys know what a pool is, <laughs> but you don't, you don't know what a moat is? Oh, God, we have more masterworks than I thought already. We almost have masterworks on everyone. <laughs> Ulster water for recreation only. There's a mod for that, dude. I I've used the moat one before a long time ago. Super strong. Super strong. ground we can't put it back in it's worst case scenarios during the ship launch the main thing i'm worried about is let's say there's like two mech events at once and a spitter behind it because and then there can be this chain of events with breakdowns right because we've seen a spitter unloading crap loads of zombies in the base can pretty much make it so the base is destroyed for all intents and purposes the base gets destroyed so a spitter that is inadvertently protected by other events. Passable or a big slowdown? You could do both, yeah. You could actually um, you could make shallow water or deeper water with the one that I used. I don't think I actually made deep water ones, though. If I remember right. Maybe they were two separate mods, but no. When I uh, The one that I used a long time ago, back in 1.1, 1 .1, you can make... Um, you just dig, like shallow or chest high water wherever you wanted i remember back then i would make kill boxes and i would just fill the kill box with water <laughs> we would maybe have to try to hit the spitter or the mortar or maybe they're really inaccurate and uh spitter has a lot of hp but maybe another problem with the spitter is it bullseyes things so unlike a normal mortar the spitter is like 100 percent accurate so the people that are uh, at the mortars would just get swamped. Yeah, the accuracy is nuts. Well, I'd love that accuracy for our our mortars. Fire mortar. Yeah, maybe. Hope that. Well, this map rains so much, but. Yeah, I mean, we could try those things if it comes down to it. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully we don't have a time when everything aligns like that in a really bad way. If we do, we can try things better than just sitting there and dying, obviously, you know, but. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Volcanic winter is still going. It's pretty cold. It's actually still just warm enough for plants to grow outside. Not by much. Not by much. It's definitely the most we've paved over a map since uh since the twenty year run. That was like four years ago. <laughs> but might as well do it. How long, Jim? Thirteen days. Thirteen days, Jim. Thirteen days. Play through, pave the whole map. We'll have another 20 year run. Yeah, it's not as feasible like editing and stuff now and YouTube stuff, but we did a lot of crazy stuff on that run. We almost had a 20 year run with my first Arco Nexus. That was like 18 years. Three colonies. I wish there were jade floors in the base game. Gold floors soon. <laughs> uh, no, not in this one. Not in this one. God, I wonder how much wealth it would actually be. It would be nearly impossible, but if you gold floored an, an entire medium-sized map like this, I wonder what the wealth would be in there. 
Many, many, many millions. Need a uh, table, some chairs, that fishing pond. Jim, Jim, Jim. Ah, uh, the concrete laying. Excellent. Excellent. No more nature. Nature slows us down. We need speed. Mod can't not use these days. More floors, really. It has plastic floors. Close enough to ending to even know jade was an option. Yeah, yeah, no jade floors. Not a whole much whole lot you can do with jade in the base game, actually. You can't even make your own jade knife. What's up with that? Jade knife. Perhaps the rarest item in the entire game. You only get one per tribal start. One component, eight plastic per tile. If sterile and can't get dirty, that's crazy. see awful construction no i think we'll we'll stay good at construction thank you though um take their medicine and screw it we'll take the components too save us for making some more hey look at that we're we went from a puppy mill to a weapons manufacturing company Great. Like three or four beauty as well. Jeez. Very expensive, but very, very, very crazy good. What a 300 steel. Uh, masterwork. Nope. That was a sculpture. Uh, we're pretty over on power most of the time, too, right? We actually have a freezer for ship launch. God, I wish that volcanic winter w would not have happened. I hear Gandalf in my ear telling me that everyone that goes through a volcanic winter wishes that it hadn't happened. Some crap about we can't choose it or something. Anyway, who's listening to Gandalf? Uh, let's add some more pathways through here. More options to save on. Uh, movement time, pathing time. I'm oh, sorry, I always keep the jade knife just because it's so rare. Break pattern, four blocks for three beauty. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that we could put in here to make this more impressive would literally be gold floors. I mean, if it's not a modded thing. A volcanic winter ne is never late, nor is it early. <laughs> Over whom? <laughs> um, Let's wait until everyone's up to make those walls, because otherwise people are going to be like, Oh, what? I didn't sleep in a barracks last night. Because there was a piece of wall missing. All right. Already working on that one. Next. Next door, please. Oh, crap. He's already working on it.
tropical floras are in this season. Yeah, to get this to 240, we would have to gold floor like the whole thing. Even then, it might not be anything. For anyone that doesn't know, there is a um, there is a room stat above unbelievably impressive. Yeah, we wouldn't get there. Wondrously impressive, which is 240 impressiveness. Just we have to have a lot of gold stuff to get there. Uh, and it, there's buffs that come along with it. Like there's uh, there's wondrously impressive barracks, wonderfully impressive dining and recreation. But uh, good luck, good luck getting there. You're gonna need a lot of golds. Then all of them to space. Yes. How are you going to defend? Uh. They don't have to be in there when the ship thing is starting up. So I'll just literally all these we owe to defend. Yeah, like gold statues. Yep, yeah, gold flooring. Yeah, they don't have to. Um, they don't all go in there until the ship is done. The river is still having their breakdown. And upset again. I don't have to be in there? No, you can start you can start the ship literally with just this and you don't have to build the whole ship before you start the timer. You want them in there before when you launch, but uh until then, yeah, they don't have to be in there. Nope. Got all the tries you ever attempted? Oh, you actually put like all your people in there or a lot of your people in the ship and froze them. Uh, no, no, you don't have to do that. No, you can get the ship ready with no one in there. And then when it's ready, when it's done, then you send everyone in. You click on the, uh, the ship and then you hit, you know, launch ship. But yeah, as you can see, we can hit start ship even without it. In fact, if you're trying to do it with low wealth, you can just build a ship reactor only. You can hit start from there. And then after you do all the events, then you can build the rest of the ship and then launch without additional ship raids. So yeah, that'll help you. That'll help you out. Now you'll get it. Masterwork. This weapon is engraved with an image of Readams inscribing his name on an advanced component, of course. You know what? I'm not risking it. Wait, you're over it already? What? <laughs> I guess they couldn't reach the target or something and they didn't read target. Don't know. Works for me though. Works for me though. Lowest well possible launch. I used to do ship launches like that. I used to do it completely opposite to what I do now when, um, when 5% was brand new, I would actually usually try to launch ships around 80,000 wealth. 80,000 to 100,000 wealth. Because I was trying to keep raids as small as possible. But then I discovered, you know what? Raids only get so big. So if we get to the point where we can kill a raid easily, every additional amount of firepower after that makes it easier than trying to keep wealth down during a ship launch. Because I used to, this was like four years ago or something, four or five years ago. I used to lose ship launches a lot of times trying to keep low in wealth because enemies would come through and drop tons of crap on the map and uh, inflate wealth and wealth get inflated during the ship launch itself and the raids were too big. But... And insulting spree in for you can click as well. And they got catharsis anyway, so yeah. How are the raids during launch? Uh, some of those runs are up on YouTube. In fact, there is a... I think it's maybe about two and a half, three years old. There's a, um, a no mods playthrough against Cassandra, which I didn't know as much about the game back then. So it's going to look a lot different in general. Um, but yeah, I did a I, I did a no pause, 500%, no mods run against Cassandra with low wealth where uh, we launched the ship with just SMGs and a tiny little kill box and like 100, 110,000 wealth or something. What's your play favorite playthrough? That's interesting, yeah, because that one's that one's a uh, pretty old. Now I would do that completely different these days. 
but yeah that was still back when i was using like the single wide door trap tunnels and smg kill box yeah going north stat welcome in The parking lot is complete, basically. Basically complete. Jim's got 10 days. When the volcanic winter ends, we'll swap all that rice over to five meals for launch. We'll be good to go. How goes your enemy? Ah, it's going okay. It's going okay. Multi-storied. Complete the parking lot before we unpark for him for a minute. That's right. That's right. For some odd reason, this little spot is not in the work zone. Well, that happened. I don't remember doing that at all. I don't remember doing that at all. Yeah, I think this one's basically figured out, but we can still lo lose during launch for sure. All right, I was going to do the little zones of stone. Uh, God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. Um, screw it. We'll just do it for limestone. See just one there. We'll do like two spot there. This will help a lot though, honestly. Should have probably done this a long time ago. Immediately hold a bed up there for some reason. There's <laughs> hauling beds around. I don't know why we have all those beds, but uh, they must have been back from the uh, the prison days. Prison days, long, long ago. So we'll put building materials right next to the walls. <laughs> shuffling that bed around. Stone zone. Uh, I think North that. <laughs> uh, there's salt rifle. Zusha eliminating a grizzly bear by eliminating her consciousness with quick, efficient movements. The grizzly bear's eyes are closed. Her work is infused with the idea of defeat, as done in a heartful style. Heartful? Look at this art of this person heartfully killing a bear. Ah, uh, Norstad, thank you for the $20 donation also. Paper for stuff. Thanks, I will trade that paper for stuff. Important stuff. Ah, uh, thank you, Norstad. It's very kind of you. I appreciate it paper for stuff. What else I never did? I never made all master beds in this one. There's still time. Are you evil for giving your children go juice? You are, but it's okay. Done and done. Done and dusted. Done and dusted. Boy, they just ran on that. Well, this is kind of crappy because 
It's going to respawn all the zombies. And we can get special zombies again. Oh, well, now we can do that. Turn on drugs. It's okay in Rimworlds. Um, okay, so let's go through people that, um, maybe we just get one or two shooting specialists for the aura. Who's not really doing much else? So like Kaz. That's an easy one to do. Shake. Our shooting's not high enough yet. We're only at 13. Because there's limbs and organs. Do I die? That's right. Almost did it. Should you special stack? Uh, no. But there's a cooldown, right? So. God forbid you eat mushrooms. There's a cooldown, so having you know more than one can be uh be good. For that. thing now i don't know i don't think we need to do that a little bit can help but i don't i don't think we need to repair too much or prepare too much more Just asked me about the bounty team I was telling her that we won't be able to do it today. What's up, Jimmy? What's up, Jimmy? All right. Hey, Volcanic well, Winter. So, they can quite do the minimum. Definitely not the maximum either. Okay. So much steel. So much steel. Uh... Does she make these? Uh, what? Creature. Hey, you guys come kill this creature before it opens the door. Hey, manhunters. This one with the shield. There you go. There you go, so I don't have to deal with him. A little bit more. Oh, these wolves sure are killing slowly. <laughs> All that concrete flooring with the steel. I just laid all this concrete flooring. <sighs> there you go. There you go. Shield's gone. What? He's winning? <laughs> You tile, nah. Nah, it doesn't do us any good.
Man, they surely they'll get him. It's kind of crazy he's fighting back. All right. All right, Zusha. Yeah, at least he can, yeah. yeah. I hadn't noticed that before. But apparently, he can. Fast work, nice. That's what we want to see. Um... Get all the masterwork. I don't need the uh the end tables anymore. Well, right, let's just do it this way. I don't I don't feel like micromanaging it. Just get the quality builder mod. Just the quality I know. Be fine, don't worry about it. Body builder. The save you had for a while. Ship's all done. Nice. Nice. Uh, back from the lurk. Uh, go juice is instant over. It can't be. Uh, Uh, Kane, let's take you off construction during this. Let's see, Zidian. You're still mining a lot, I guess. We don't need as many miners anymore, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, we'll leave you on it. It's fine. It's fine. River, same kind of thing there. Jim, are you already a specialist? You are. Yeah, it's fine. Little Timmy needs a go juice. Update to all the room children have grown up. Yep. Yeah, they're grown up. Ship is done. Volcanic winter just ended. Making some, uh... Might just do beds instead. We have the hospitals. Yeah, screw it. Make some mass work beds, and then uh, we're gonna get out of here. Mass work, an excellent bed. Um, The... Uh, mainly what I'm getting from is the, the comfort and the uh, rest rate. So, with um, with excellent or better, you only need one thing attached to a bed to get the maximum output on um, on comfort. So I guess just excellent, better, better on everyone. But obviously having a having a master work or legendary so that those stats are increased even further is always good. And a high mate show up was staggeringly ugly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to worry about this. Either way, though, um, I need to wrap things up, unfortunately. So, hang on a second. Let me deal with whatever is going on here. Look at that. The wolves trying to save us again. We'll wrap things up, and then we'll launch the ship on the next stream. I'm going to fix this, though. He's just going to do this crap where he just, like, checkerboards the walls. I think he is. Not fighting back this time. Maybe it's because he was pinned in that area previously. Uh, if... The dresser. Uh, the quality of the dresser and the end table can matter to you. Yeah. Yep. Maybe it's only... Wait. It might only be the beauty stat now. I'll have to double check. But I think, I think so. Alright. I'll just keep an eye, eye on this. Wait. <laughs> hey. Hey. 
This dog's gonna kill this. Maybe we just open it up. I don't know. I don't want to micromanage it. We're gonna have to do that a lot during the ship launch, though. Yeah, they're not gonna make it all the way through there. Dogs, I mean. A zero percent day coming. Like a day from now, he's gonna rip so much wall up in that time. All right, we'll just go do it and then uh, we'll rebuild. Okay, let's make sure the build area is there anywhere else out here that they're gonna go. So in build to that stockpile has some, that one has some. All right, let's go, uh, let's go do this. break uh river again all right go back river if you're gonna have a right down go have a right down at home okay. any other checkerboarding going on right now no uh let's go just wipe this this side guess what guess what what I feel like it's a sarcastic guess what <laughs> for some reason and yeah, good thing i said no huh forget how that works all right let's clear these so i'm gonna get pulled while rebuilding that Back in, back in. What? We should have, we have pizza. <laughs> What's the crap? <laughs> probably not. Probably not. <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll just close that in some more. Probably not. I'm gonna say probably not on that one. Oh my god, a couple more of them coming back. River, I didn't undraft you. Hang on, Alex. Alex, hey. Alex, you might get eaten by zombies if you do that. River, aren't you supposed to be getting your mood back up? Can get my mood back up by killing zombies, boss. I don't think you do. Everything I've seen is telling me the opposite. All right, here we go. Six ten now. Can use it. That's because I had the zones differently this time. Yeah. Normally I would, but since I had build zone with no table in it, they didn't. Right. Children have alcohol tolerance. Move that light while we're here. And we got a masterwork one. We'll bring that one in here. Yeah, it's kind of funny when you go into one of those drugs, funny, and it has all the safe dose information. It even has it for an infant. It's like, this is how many beers you can give your infant. Wait, how many beers I can give my infant? Yep. Here's the number for that. Why, why, why are you giving me this information? <laughs> are, you, are you saying there's a safe dose? Yep. 
It's important to know. <laughs> that alert zone now that was with teething it's a random wire there 7200 looking good there Bridge break it's just river it's just river it was like what do you mean it's just me ah, we're just used to your griping by now to be quite frank with you Sure, they're getting their daily stout to make their beards grow in thick and strong like the dwarf run. <sighs> well, I'm not launching the ship while we have massive flu, so. Alright. Everyone getting tended to? Uh. Marla to actual hospital bed. I mean, it is a hospital bed, but let's have the vitals monitor. Can't have the alcohol tolerance, brain damage. Yeah, it used to happen even more. So they actually removed a lot of the uh, nutrients from a lot of the drugs. But back in the day, almost all drugs had at least some nutrients in them in Rimworlds. And you have animals taking and eating all kinds of drugs, especially like in the winter or because of zoning issues or whatever. Uh, there are some drugs that still have a little bit of nutrients like beer. So well, sometimes with those instances where you suddenly get alerts that chickens are black blacking out from being drunk, things like that. Richie, turtles and hamsters, they would continuously eat any drug, namely booze. Colonists instantly overdose and die because they were so small. I take one to OD them. That is weird. I drink the whole stack at once. That is weird. All scythers. <sighs> there's about to be zero threat. We should probably just go take care of it and then rebuild during the zero threat day. But there's a, there's a flu. There's a flu. <sighs> They're going to rip up just lots of random walls. Uh, just grab everyone that doesn't have the flu. We have almost all masterwork guns. We should be able to rip through this pretty easily. Man, is that enough firepower for that small group? Maybe if we go now. Risky, though. We're going to use combat command and marksman command for this. So we have crazy accuracy now. And we do have the bionics to kite if we need to. It's so weird they made it so mechs prepare for a while. Such a long time that wasn't a thing.
Oh yes, my favorite RTS. Room world. Where you have to split your marines. Or else the banelings will get you. <laughs> Alright. Get in. Okay, so uh, let's uh, unrestrict. No hits? No hits, yeah. Pretty close, though. Had to do a couple of crazy splits there. But we got it, we got it. Uh, God tier micro. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. 80s movie, and it's gorgeous. Oh, the, yeah. Another masterwork assault rifle. Who doesn't have a masterwork these days? What poor soul doesn't already have theirs upgraded? There we go. All right. Well, I think that's a really good uh, starting point for today. We'll get on here in the morning and we'll launch that ship. Launch that ship. So if you want to see the craziness of ship launch during the zombie apocalypse... Uh, it's gonna be full strength zombies as well. I'll start tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Jim will be waking up. Six days and it's go time. Be done with the flu. Jim will be up and fighting. Got all of our masterworks. We paid over the friggin' world. So. Alright. Let me, uh, let me in this for anything else crazy happens. I wish we could have done the uh, the bounty. I'll double check, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. You bear with me for a second. I'll double check the, the minimums for it, but it's uh, probably going to have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it's going to have to wait for tomorrow. Maybe. Yes, yes, it will. <laughs> I just saw the numbers to... Build a whole ship again. I have to for RP reasons to get all these people off the zombie planet, you know? You know? The stream, no. I I was waiting to do the bounty to get enough people. We never got enough. And so I ended up pushing Gord out too far. So hopefully we'll be able to play more Gord tomorrow. Actually, I've really been liking uh, Gord a lot. So hopefully we'll have, uh, we'll have the ship done relatively early. And we'll have time to do all that other stuff tomorrow. Hopefully. 